the man who wanted to be a goat. So there's a, there's a, a non-zero but very small risk that TMS can induce a seizure. So that's the hardcore risk. So this is the TMS coil. It's on and it's set so that it'll do stimulation. If I step on this, you can hear it. It makes yeah. a clicking noise. Yeah. Basically because the magnetic field sort of comes on and off so quickly that it actually creates what are called the Rentz forces that make a physical sound. The device is held to a bearded man's head. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? <laughs> yeah. There are old ways, different ritual and magic ways it's done, and spiritual ways it's done within shamanic tradition. Mm -hmm. And one thing is in fact that you let the outer form or the movement, that you start by imitating that, and by that yeah. you, you can better get a feel of how to become that animal. When I was small, for some reason I decided I would eat from a bush <laughs> without using my hands. <laughs> Eating directly from a tree without using your hands was profound. Taking hands out of the equation yet doing something so familiar like eating made me feel like a different creature in a way and so I was, guess I was trying to, I'm trying to recapture that feeling. The problem is Without being able to know what experience of a goat or whatever is like, it's not clear how you would know whether you would succeed it, right? Yeah. So you can imagine that you can start to inactivate parts of the brain and that that might sort of be a sort of fairly crude approximation. So for instance, I mean if you could just turn off language in a person. We can't do that at the moment, but imagine you could. Not just your ability to enunciate the words, but your ability to, to perhaps manipulate those ideas in that kind of fashion anyway. And if you could turn it off and turn it back on, then you're getting there, right? Because you could, you could then ask somebody. Maybe becoming an animal is about relinquishing control over your own fate, in a way. He eats wet grass. Because I suppose we're all trying to control our lives and kind of fight this battle to kind of retain control over our lives. But I think it's a battle you can't win. And so perhaps trying to become an animal is a, it's like a, in a way, a admission that mission that you can't control your life. What this project about becoming an animal is really getting at is this desire to experience the world from something else's perspective <clears throat> because we're all completely trapped inside our own brain, our own perception of the world. And so what I'm trying to do is to try and kind of get outside of myself and try and experience the world from a completely different perspective. A goat, it's living in the same physical space, but it sees these objects in a completely different way. Wearing a helmet-mounted camera, forearm stilts, and calf braces, he walks on all fours, grazing with goats. He makes his way across a sheet of grey ice. 